The name of this project is Wine King's Peak. I persuaded tens of importers to participate in this project and they presented hundreds of wines for a perfect blind tasting. It smelled like sewer, garbage. <laughs> it was shit wine. It's crap. It's crap. It's crap. I don't cook anymore. Now we are going to taste Samanonte red wines. In US dollars, it's about $25. So what do you think about this flight? Let's talk about A34 first. Lots of oak, you know, manipulated, mm -hmm. kind of oaky character. Very chocolate on the palate. I found it a bit mass produced. Yeah. At that level, the wine should not taste mass produced. Yes. I'm happy with that because I didn't like the wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> the least of them mm -hmm. was 766. Why is it so? Very tannic entry. It was a some kind of funny feel in the mouth. I found it astringent. Not gentle. Not gentle. It's not a gentleman's wine. <laughs> Probably it's a kid's wine. Children's wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I shouldn't say that. No, you shouldn't say that. And uh, what was your favorite one here? 874. 874. It was very deep purple, tannic, but a soft tanning, full body. It was heavy, but smoothly heavy. I liked it very much. As I said, it's my best wine. The same comments that you had, full and round in the mouth. Medium well resolved tannins, medium length of finish. It's a new world wine. 874 we can recommend. Right? Yeah. How was 804? 804. Milk chocolate again on the nose. Easy entry on the, par on the, on the palate. I like the structure and the finish. But I thought this might be uh, a Rioja. I liked it quite much. They showed the smooth tannin. Red tannin, and uh, I like the acidity. Slightly higher acidity. It was bland, but at the same time, it was a little bit complex than the others for me. I like that part. 813? Lots of oak. I found it somewhat manipulated. I don't really want to drink this. Mm -hmm. But for 25, it's okay. Frankly speaking, I really hate this. Okay, then we take it away because I was so <laughs> close. All right. Too much chocolate and coffee and oak. 791? Seven nine yeah. Swedish entry, then some grip. Mm -hmm. Fruit was slow, nice balance. Mm -hmm. Decent fruit, good tannins. Mm -hmm. I like the one. I thought it was competent. I think that this is a decent one. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. It's very pretty high in alcohol. I can see. Oh, these are all high in alcohol. Yeah. They were because they were basically either all, to my mind, all mm -hmm. New World mm -hmm. or Spanish one. But this one particularly showed a, a more legs than the others for me. Oh, I see it does too. Yeah. Yeah, but. I couldn't feel that high alcohol on my palate. Nicely tannic and good acid, lots of blackberry. I was there with the recommendation. Okay, so we recommend. Well, well let's look at that. Yeah, <laughs> 874. Oh, it has screw cap. I love it. Great Burge. Mayamba Barossa Shiraz 2019. Okay, then. 804 Itadi Gorienta 2017 Rioja I said that Yeah, you said it did that, yeah. Good Alright then 791 Kendall Jackson Vintner's Reserve Merlot 2018 yeah. What is that? I told you, I told you that, that was the worst for me 813 I told you I hated it. Yeah, that, that nasty manipulated nose is coming out now. Sneak me at Eight one three? Yeah. Wow, look at the great variety. And look at this beautiful bottle. Uh, give me a break. Wow, the packaging is one of the best. It's one of the best to ship. Wow. They should all be in jail. This is clueless people. Clueless. You see my evaluation here? Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But we found some good ones, so. We do love wine. Yeah. Just not all wine. <laughs> <laughs> so how was the flight, Peter? Eiter's cock. What was that? It was fur. It was shit wine. 
So boring. Eight, eight, nine. Because of the ochre, it was quite oily. Yeah. Astringent. How was nine or three? A very strange nose. Uh -huh. It smelled like sewer, <laughs> garbage, <laughs> and stewed rhubarb. Okay. Eight, six, six was okay, but not to the level for the recommendation. Okay. Seven, seven, six. It just missed for me. Nine, one, four. I me. gave this a recommended. Me too. I like the wine. At least one recommendation. <laughs> yeah. All right. Under um, agreement. Extract, some chocolate, some grip, some stoniness, some gravel, easy entry, some fruit acid, tannins are well resolved, medium finish. I couldn't quite figure out where it came from. It's I, from Chile. You think so? I'm pretty sure. 914. Yeah. It smells lots of things for me. Uh, I did like the wine. Yeah, I like the wine too. I have to recommend it. Okay, I do too. Yeah, and 923? Uh, no, it smelled like water. There's nothing here. I can't read my writing anymore. Ungenerous. 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 Okay, At this kind ungenerous. of price, I want generous one. Where did you write ungenerous? Yeah, ungenerous. Oh, it's so unreadable. <laughs> so this is ungenerous. G. Somewhere in there, there's a G. <laughs> there is only one recommendation here among these many wines. Only one recommendation, which is number nine one four. You are sure it's one. Chile? Yeah, I may be wrong. <laughs> you may be wrong. Mostly, I'm wrong. No, that's not. True. <laughs> Let me see. Los Vascos Cromas Cabernet Gran Reserva. 2019. Oh, I'm glad I selected it because I like the wine. Yeah, me too. You are selected, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we were happy with 914, so I'm gonna rinse all the glasses with I was gonna do exactly the same. <laughs> right. It is called Avinare. In Italian. In Italian, yeah, right. So, how was the flight? The three that I can recommend are. 849, 826, 894. For me, 826, 856, 894, I think it was okay, but it was just uh, too expensive for the price range. That's what they cost. I mean, it's Tony Port. Anyway, we'll, so you, we'll get there. You think this is Tony Port? It's definitely intended to be Tony Port. Could it be made outside of Portugal? Yes. What do I think? I think it's a Portuguese entry level Tony Port. Okay. I also think this is a port. Yeah. yeah, Portuguese port. Yeah. It tastes like port. <laughs> <laughs> How was 8.49? On the nose was smoky, some green, unfortunately a little bit of VA. Nice and full on the entry, grippy. The wine has a presence, got good acidity, medium resolution of the tannins. I like the wines. Mm -hmm. I thought it was Bordeaux varieties. I thought it was New World. I agree with all the other parts, mm -hmm. but then you just men mentioned the VA. Mm -hmm. That bothered me yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I, you know, to me, I thought it was an acceptable level of VA, but I would rather it wasn't there. It was quite pronounced for me, so when I first smelled it, I almost thought like, is this port? Number 826? We both liked it. Yeah. What did you think? It was Pinot Noir's color. Did you think it was Pinot Noir? Yeah, I thought this was Pinot Noir. Okay. <laughs> right. So did I. <laughs> Why did you look at me like that? I was trying to scare the shit out of you. <laughs> Did you think it was Pinot Noir? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think it was Pinot Noir, idiot? <laughs> yes, I thought it was. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> lots of, lots of uh, strawberry. Lots of cherry. Well, Quite nice it's in it's the mouth it's until it's the end. Mm. Where did you think it came from? I thought it's uh, uh, from New World. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's pretty dark in color. Anyway, I really like the wine. It's a decent Pinot Noir. Decent. Yeah. At this price rate. At, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At this price rate. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. You tell me about it. It was a shit wine. Oh, that wood kills me. Yeah. It's like a crap wood. It really tastes like a sweet raspberry juice. Yeah. yeah. Shouldn't have been bottled. <laughs> Shouldn't have been bottled? Yeah. It's crap. Yeah. <laughs> it's crap. <laughs> it is crap. It's crap. Right. So. On this flight, among these many wines, we recommend only one wine, which is 826. 826. What is this selected? Which you thought was Pinot Noir. 
which you thought was Pinot Noir too. Martin Ray Pinot Noir, Sonoma Coast, 2020. It's our only recommendation on this flight. And we were in agreement as to what we thought it was. Yep. So it means variety, it's correct. Thank God that's over. <laughs> Be more critical because if because you have... it's getting the price is getting up there. Yeah. That's what happens. So now that the price is getting up there, now we say no, but for that price. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> We've tasted millions, millions of wines. We've tasted and millions of shit wines. <laughs> Sorry about that, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> so many wines at this price range, which is Samaronte wine. Samaronte wines. About twenty-five dollars. So we recommend only these five wines at this price category. Okay. Los Vascos Cromas Cabernet Grand Reserva 2019 Kendall Jackson Vintners Reserve Merlot 2018 Itadi Crianta Rioja 2017 Grant Burge Barossa Shiraz 2019 Martin Ray Pinot Noir Sonoma Coast 2020 I'm happy with that selection we recommend these five wines. Now we do Umanonte wines. $30 range. The bar gets higher because the price is up there. Yeah. It was hard to taste. Very hard to taste. Yeah, very hard to taste. At, at this level, you know, you get a lot more extraction. But I was looking for obvious characteristics that I recognized more than just structure. You know, I was looking for balance. I didn't find it. A lot of the wines were hot, bitter. We are not easy guys. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? I'm curious. 374. And what was the reason why you liked it the most? Yeah, to, to me there was an elegance and a balance that some of them didn't have. It did have, you know, tannin and all the rest of it. It had lots of grip. I liked the finish. I thought it was a wine that was not trying to make a statement, just trying to be good. This one is very, very Bordeaux-like. The cassis, the blackcurrant characteristic is so pronounced for me. How was number four to six for you? I liked it a lot. Is that what your favorite? Yeah, yeah. So what did you think it was? This one as well, Cabernet Sauvignon. Again? Yeah, from Chile, okay. I think. And it? there's one other that I could be pushed into recommending which is actually two more. All right. Number 451. And uh, the other one? What is the last one for you? Uh, 445. So 401? No, no. no Seven. No, I didn't like 401. No, me, me neither. Very bitter. What was the worst one for you? 361. Okay. That was bitter. The tannin was very dry and bitter, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm promoting those. I think you don't need to promote too hard. Which do you agree should be? I agree with. Three, seven, four. Okay, that was my best one, yeah? Yeah, and four to six. And four to six, I'm very happy with that. Yeah. Those are the two you agree on? Yes. And not the others? Four, four, five was not bad at all. I thought it was a decent wine, but it's on the edge. Well, it was on the edge for me, so... Yeah. <laughs> and four, five, one? For me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, right, just those two. Okay, those two. So, oh, let's see. Okay, what are you? 374. Husone, Cabernet Sauvignon, Maipo Valley, Gran Reserva, 2018. And it's Cabernet? Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then, four to six. Let's see four. it. Wow, the bottle is huge. 1865. Master Blend, San Pedro, 2019. What's the blend? Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec Petit Verdot, Syrah. These are good. They are good. Yeah? Yeah. From, From these tastings, that is almost impossible to teach. Because what it does is it, it just adds to your experience. And you suddenly realize that... You have to do so much triage because almost anything is possible. Are you ready for the next round? Oh, I'm dying of thirst already. <laughs> no, I don't believe <laughs> you already have so much wine. I was thinking we'd have to go home now. <laughs> Prost! Prost! Maybe we survive until tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. So that we can do this all over again. Yeah. 
Is there any recommendable wine here? For me, yeah. yes. And what are they? Number 478, 380, and 414. <laughs> and for you? My best wine, 414. 414. And I liked 380 very much too. And 478 was decent, but I didn't like it very much. Okay, I f it was just decent. Yeah. And 466? Not good. I thought it was slightly oxidized. Very high alcohol. Very high. I hated it. I, okay, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. What did you think about 414? Yeah. It was very extracted. On the nose, it was dark fruits, very tannic. It just needs time, a very decent wine. I particularly loved the structure of it. Big but complex yeah. structure. Yeah. So we can recommend this wine. Absolutely, we can recommend this wine. Okay, then I drink it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm. Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. 380. Opaque. Yeah. I mean black. Black, black. Very structured on the entry. Mm -hmm. Great fruit. Power and balance. Very, very concentrated. Yeah. Very new world. Mm -hmm. to, to me, serious new world wine stuff. I thought it was a Shiraz Cabernet blend from Australia. Yeah. What I loved in this wine is the minerality. Okay, yeah. it's seam. 380. HRB Heritage okay. Reserve Bean Shiraz 2017. McLaren Vale. Hardy's. Then, then. 414. Another Shiraz. Farmer Sleep. The Brave Shiraz 2015. So we tasted numerous Omanonte wine. $30 range wine. Our recommendations are these four wines. So we give them Grand Prix. Hussone Cabernet Sauvignon Grand Reserva 2018. And then 1865 Master Blend 2019. Hardis HRB Shiraz 2017. The Brave Shiraz from Farmer Sleep. 2015. These four wines are recommended in Umanonte wines. No old world wines. No. Hopefully they will show up tomorrow. I don't care one way or another, but for their sake. I don't yeah. care. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's K-pop. <laughs> uh, okay. Later we are gonna do something with uh, these wines. Drink. Drink. And then? Eat meat. Yeah. There's a reason why this table is so special because it's a Korean barbecue table. Well then, let's clear it off and get going. <laughs> now we are gonna taste Jungmanonte wines. Yeah, so around $35. I was born ready for this. <laughs> Good tasting. Good tasting, thank you. So how are the wines, Peter? Lousy. 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 Were there any wines that you want to recommend? One. One. Which one is it? Nine, three, four. Agree. How was 1039? The wine is flawed. The wine has Britannomyces. So what do you mean by being bready here? It is full of a spoiler yeast called mm -hmm. Britannomyces and generally comes from unsanitary conditions in the winery. I know some people that like it. Mm -hmm. In fact, I even know one winemaker in California who tries to get bread in his wine. <laughs> by being bready, you mean horse sweat, sweaty leather, Horse shit? No, not horse shit. No, sorry. Not horse. Rat shit, bat shit. Yeah. Horse shit is the description for good burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible thing to say. But it's true. It's partially true. No, you get it a bit dumb. I forgot what to say. <laughs> yeah, okay. 958? Would rather not see it there. In the $35 price range, I'd much rather not see it there. 973? 973. 973 was almost there. I liked the wine, I didn't love it. I liked the wine too. Okay. But it was not recommendable for you. Okay. Right? No, no. Okay, no problem. We are strict. We are strict. No mercy. I mean, I can get there, but we are strict. Yeah. 947. Yeah, what do you think? It was very concentrated, very smoky. Lots of bacon, dried date, and very tonic, dry, astringent. I thought it was from Italy. So did I. Probably from uh, Veneto. 
So did I. Yeah? yeah. Corvina, Corvinone, mm -hmm. those I thought it was an Amarone style. It was close for me, but not there. No. 934. This was one I could recommend. It was a little bit weedy, uh, but it had a good entry. Lots of fruit. Red fruit, black fruit, lots of lots of uh, strawberries, raspberries, fresh, round, like this. Yeah? Recommend moi. <laughs> so we recommend 934. Right. This is the only recommendable red wine. Veneto Rosso de Stefani Soler 2019. Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Catamaner, Refosco, Marzemino. It's a very, very weird blend. But good wine. It's good wine. We are glad to recommend this wine. De Stefani Soler 2019. Before we go to the next price range, we have two recommendable wines in a special category. The importer submitted the wines in the wrong price range, which was a bit higher than it should be, but they were great. So they got selected as recommendable wines by blind tasting. So these wines are certainly recommendable in their own price range. I can promote one or two of these. But let's pick the ones that really made it without a push. No push. No push. Just two of them. What are they? 1012. Yeah, I agree. You agree? Yeah, and and 998. We are merciless monsters. Yeah. 1012. You and I both like this. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Clearly. What did you think it was? Californian cat. It feels me like a well-trained clown. <laughs> no, no. I'm with you. I can recommend it because most California Napa Valley cabinets are in the 50 to 60 to 70 dollar price range. Mm, so it's worth the money. It's worth the money. We think it's at least a Californian cat. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, we think for sure. Number <laughs> 20 November 8. I like it. So you think it's a recommendable or not? I think so. You think so? Yeah. Please make it clear and simple. You asked me if I think it's recommendable. I said, I think so. So you said, you think so? so I said, yes, I think so. So you said, but do you think so? I said, yes. So then you say, please make it clear. <laughs> yes, I think it's recommendable. Slightly sweet entry, but lots of black currant on the nose. Grippy, it had the kind of tannin I would expect from Cabernet Sauvignon. It was full in the mouth, quite big oak, needs some time. It was new world to me, California cab. We're going to recommend two wines, right? And both of them we think are California Cab. Yeah. Okay, so which one? What I want to? We think this is Californian Cabernet Sauvignon. Wow! This is <laughs> Bourbon Barrel H. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> 1924. Oh, are you sure that's the right one? <laughs> I'm sure. Well, no, it is that California cab. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Limited edition. Bourbon barrel aged. Double black. Cabernet Sauvignon. Lodi. California 2020. It's definitely very okay. That was the reason why it felt like a well trained clown, but well made. This is the beauty of uh, blind tasting. Yeah. <laughs> 998. Josh, it's your yeah. son. Yeah. Hey, Josh, you are selected. California, Josh, from Josh Sellers, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2018. This is our first bourbon barrel aged. That's the first okay. one we ever could keep in our mouths. So well made. Bourbon barrel aged. I'm so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. But no way back. <laughs> it's already done. It's okay. All right. If you watched the content talking about bourbon barrel wine, you'd understand why we are so embarrassed now. If you didn't watch it, please click on the link above to check it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. That's right. Give us a like. Yeah, give us a like. And just remember, we put our livers on the line so that you don't have to. So your liver, where is it? On which side? It's every side now. <laughs> It's dragging on the floor behind me now. 제가 선정하는 와인들 잘 구매해서 즐기고 계시나요? 여러분들께서 구하시기 편한 와인들 추천해 드리고자 우리나라에 수입되고 있는 와인들만 모아서 맛을 보고 그 중에서 가성비가 제일 좋은 와인들만 권해드리고 있습니다. 여러분들의 편의를 위해서 와인킹스픽에 선정된 와인들을 CU 어플인 
포켓 CU를 통해서 구매하실 수 있도록 CU 측의 협조를 구하고 있으니 한번 이용해 보셔도 좋을 것 같습니다. 현재는 어플로 주문하고 전국 CU 점포 어디서나 픽업을 하실 수가 있는 스마트 오더 시스템이고요. 8월 초부터는 예약 없이도 CU 편의점 매장에서 바로 구매할 수 있는 와인들이 점점 많이 생긴다고 합니다. 가까이 있는 매장에 해당 와인의 재고가 있는지 없는지를 모르시는 경우에는 포켓 CU 어플의 첫 화면에서 재고 조회 기능을 활용하면 좋다고 합니다. 가까운 지역에 해당 와인 재고를 조회한 뒤에 재고가 있으면 은 거기에 찾아가서 구매하실 수가 있답니다. 주위에 와인킹 스픽 와인들이 들어와 있는 CU 편의점이 없다고요? 그럼 해당 점주분들께 와인킹 선정 와인 좀 갖다 놔 달라고 부탁을 해보세요. 아직까지는 와인 같은 거 굳이 구비해야 돼 라고 생각하시는 분들이 많기 때문에 여러분들께서 부탁하시면 은 갖다 놓으실 수도 있습니다. 여러분들께서 무엇을 원하는지 점주분들도 아셔야 와인을 비치해 놓을 수가 있겠죠? 그럼 즐거운 와인 생활 즐기세요.